So, I don't know what kind of stuff that these people have been smoking, but I realized something. It's like, I don't trust anybody. There's that doorway, which is giving me ammo. And then there's this. No, okay, we only have one door we can, we can go through. <laughs> Great. Block A bunks. What's my map looking like? So we're going to have to go this way anyway to get the nav card. And then to get to block B, we also have to go this way. Oh. Oh, that's why. I didn't have the crew card to go the other way. I do have that now. If we go forward, we need to go and override the lock. So we have to go through here, and then we have to go through the this way. Okay. I don't like this. Nice game. I I pressed open. Motherfucker, motherfucker, motherfucker. No, 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 no. I'm dead. I'm dead. That was a bit unfair game. Just a tiny bit. Um, I kept shooting it. I didn't want to go down. This would be the time I would want to quit if I do do this. But I'm going to continue. So, this is fine. This is fine. There's a reason it loaded. That is probably something we need. Okay, I have to hit my shots. I have to hit my shot, hit my shot, hit my shot. Fuck. Okay, this is unfair. This is getting a bit unfair. I'm dead. So, the way the aiming works is the aiming's broken. Very much so. Um, where the sensitivity for this game is like super broken, super jank. So, if you're playing on controller, you can't control it. If you play on mouse, your sensitivity goes up, but it's not really I have like that's one of the problems that I have with this game is sensitivity. Very much so. So let's do this and hope and pray I can get a good shot. I have 75. Okay. I'm fucked. Uh Okay. Crap. And the aiming is a bit off in this too. There's no auto aim for controller, meaning I'm fucked. Okay, let's try one more time and then I'm just gonna probably not record this for today. Actually, let me... Let me figure something out. So, this is mouse and keyboard. If I do that...
One, two, three, four, three. Okay. This should help. So, uh, we are switched over to mouse and keyboard. Because, I don't know why this thing is taking so, so long to do. Okay. Yeah. So, mouse and keyboard is the key for that, but I I don't know why it it's so buggy with the aiming on anything or on a lot of different things. Um that's an issue that I've had with this game since arguably booting it up is having to deal with different mechanics tied to different elements of controller use. I have, the comment I made is um, if I really wanted to I could just go back to the save file and come back later. Uh, this is good. This is fine. There's something that's going to come through there. That's an obvious item. Oh, crap. Okay. Something's going to come through, though. I know it. As it was more than one. There's more than one. This game does not you no. This game You get what you want, or you get what you expect. End of days. And with that in mind, I am not going to say I'm breaking down mentally, because I'm not. It's just, there's a lot to this that I've been having to deal with, and it's getting a tiny little bit annoying. For sure, it can catch. So I'm going to open this and I'm going to have to do with black yeah. Oh, those little guys. I don't like those guys. Oh, frick, you're here. Why are the frick are you one of you guys here? Actually, no. I was going to ask, why aren't you? Let's do that. We need to go this way, I think. Is this where it is? No. So, how'd they break the life support system in here? That's what I want to know. And how would they would know that they would need an oxygen recharge in here? Okay, let me just... 
And it's in the bunks, which is this way, meaning there's gonna be guys here. Dark, I keep missing. Am I just not good at gaming? I probably am. That's probably my reasoning. Or good reasoning. Uh, I suck at video games. Life support and climate system malfunction. Hazardous condition. Please contact repair specialist. Oh, these guys are here. Burke. I'm fucked. Oh, right here. Come on, give me health, give me health, give me health, give me health, please. Thank you. I'm out of ammo on pretty much all my weapons. Frick. Okay. Leave. Leave, leave, leave. Okay, let's just go here. I didn't want to... I wanted to grab it, but it wouldn't let me. Okay. Let's go to the safe station if possible. I need to get to... I need to get to the store now. Like, really badly. I don't have enough health, I don't have enough ammo. Probably have a good chunk of credits, I know that. How many, how many credits do I have? Or am I dead to rights here? 3,500 credits. Okay, so we have enough. Jeez. To commons. What's this room? Bathroom. Okay, we can go here. Give me my baby. Thank you. Um, yeah. We're gonna go through here now and pray. Tram. And now we have that done. That is completely done. I feel like pretty soon we're gonna we're gonna be done here because we need the nav carts and then we're gonna go. I don't like that I saw him being eaten. There's another guy, one of them in here, I know that. Ah. 
I knew of one, I didn't know of both. Frick. I knew of one, didn't know both. Reasoning is because I saw one earlier. If you can recall, because we came in here. Is it there? And that was a little experience that I do not want to remember. That fair, right? this. Did I mix it? miss this or? I may miss this. United we ascend. In you, is you not only a new hope or just another scam? If you've been living on Mars for the past 200 years, you might have missed the fastest growing religious movement in history. Unitology boasts of following a millions, counts powerful CEOs and officials in its ranks, claims 75% billion... $78 billion of stock in multi-global companies, and owns two of Earth's largest financial institutions. For its beginnings as a cult of personality, Unitology has become a respected re established religion. Most people know the basics. 200 years ago, Michael Altman, a professor of anthropology, blew the whistle on what he claimed was the biggest cover-up ever instituted by, Earth gov by, the, by the Earth government. The discovery of an artifact, or marker, thus, which proved beyond any doubt that there was alien life in the universe. The government labeled Altman a kook, but his m claim struck a chord with some, and his mysterious death soon afterwards fueled that interest. Unitologists believe the marker contained a code, the key to eternal life, through rebirth and ascension to heaven. You have to die first. They say the government is hiding the marker somewhere, keeping its secrets for themselves. Across all of human space, unitologists praise Altman's martyrdom and await the day God comes to take them to their new life beyond Earth. Sounds pretty harmless, but like any unit cult, there's a dark side. Unitologists are ranked in the church. Nobody ever talks about it, but most of its critics believe there is at least three ranks above the average believer or initiate. With each new rank, most of, more of the church's inner workings and research are revealed to be to a follower. And these ranks are achieved by one simple criteria, giving money and power to the church. Think taking all your money is bad? The church also requires members to donate their bodies after death. Why? What do they do with them? No one will say, and attempts to infiltrate the inner circle have failed. With our emphasis on re transformation and rebirth, maybe we wouldn't like the answer even if they told us. One rumor that also refuses to die says the church is, building, is funding a secret shipbuilding program. Some claim to have seen the fleet. No documentary evidence has ever been supplied, but the other claimants say, all say these mausoleum ships, despite their huge size. Continued on page 94. That's okay. Firstly, I feel like the ship we're on right now is one of them because it's an illegal operation. And why would it? That just makes sense. But something else that I had to bring up that I feel like needs to be said is unitology sounds a lot like Scientology. And I'm not surprised, because it really sounds like they just took the basis for it off. Scientology. See, I need armor. I'll survive for now. I need armor. So bad. So, this should help. If I think I just made a really bad cho choice. But... As the game goes on, you get higher tier monsters with more damage, or higher tier uh, necromorphs with more damage. I feel like armor is beneficial. And this, I'm a little overdue for this. Uh, Yeah, so now we are level 4. Okay, we unlocked level 5 too. Uh, do I have anything I can sell? I can sell my own weapons. Great. I have 300. Jeez. Okay, let's go back up and save. Because uh this might be something necessary. Yeah. So we're gonna save one more time. 
And then we're going to go get the last nav card, and then we should be done here. That's like... No, we're not done here. Unless the next chapter is, is Security Station, which I thought Security Station would be here. Fuck. Completely ran out of ammo. And only I only have ammo in my flamethrower. You know, buying more ammo and health seem like a really seems like a really good decision now. What the heck is that? Zero G basketball, and now we go to what is this? Sleep block C. Why do I feel like somebody's gonna come down in the elevator? Every single possibility, every single change, every single movement in this game is it has to be like calculated. No, it has to be calculated because it just feels Okay, it's just on repeat. Uh, I, I, this really sounds like Scientology. <laughs> Scientology. Trademark. Uh, can be seen as a cult. With aliens. There's one religion I know that for sure, like... Fuck. You know, I, I, I kind of thought that guy was a nut job, but now I'm really thinking he's crazy. I really like, though, that they're developing his character. Because he originally appeared just to be a crazy dude, and now you can see what unitology is. Why do I feel like he's been here? You will be that too. That's a key point. Okay, that's locked. Game. I would like health. I can't go in here. Oh. Yes, please. I will take all of this. Health is... I, I enjoy health. I enjoy surviving. 
So there's nothing else here. Wait a second. Is this? Do this and then Is there any more behind? They just look like walls and I don't think I can go further. So we have two things, let's actually go save because as of right now. We just got something to sell, which is 10,000, and then we just got full health and lots of ammo, so we should be... The game giveth, the game taketh away. Okay. What the f... That's so broken. I don't think it's supposed to do that. Okay, so I'm supposed to go straight ahead to the left. So maybe it is just a game of touch, Jenga? Not take a uh, Tetris. How can you be turning away from the church at this vital hour? Do not abandon your faith. What's happening on the colony is not a tragedy. It's God's truth to the more fantastic. On the first floor, we have found a swamp with God's plans for all. Yeah, it's you're essentially locking yourself in because you have to move everything. That's why I don't like certain parts of this game, because you're locking yourself in, and you know you're locking yourself in. Like, I know for sure that something's gonna come. Why do I feel like he's dead now, though? Do you think he... Kind of guess that. There's a lot of those demented scenes throughout this ship. Could I move this? No. Oh, did not mean to grab that. Snap card, and as we go back, we're going to deal with all these enemies. This time, there will be no escape for you, my friend. You have been most resourceful up until now, but my creation is free. Is this the one that can... Oh, this is the mutated one. Fuck. Frick. Fuck. I'm out of flame mode? Okay, I don't know how to get out of here. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm dead. 
I got stuck because I forgot how to get out of there. Ah. <sighs> That's not good. How do I get out of there again? I had to pull that shut. There will be no escape for you, my friend. You have been most resourceful up until now, but my creation is free. Reborn in the fierceness of life itself. Now it's time to play your part. I'm going to do this. How do I get through? Oh. I don't think it can get to me. Unless it can. Oh, frick. frick. Oh, that's his monster. Shouldn't try and reset his monster. I should just disable the legs, which is probably a better choice than whatever I plan on doing. to just disable the legs. I need to... Okay. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Thank you for letting me know that. Um, okay. I need health so bad right now. Whew. I need health, so that's going to be important. I don't care. Plasma energy. One, two, three, and then go with what we have left. Flamer fuel is always good. For last, for emergency things and last minute. Okay. Let's save. And let's go see Crazy Dr. Kine. It's just, you know, sometimes you don't expect certain things, and this is, some of this game is just rush, rush, rush. 